Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you'd like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below. There you'll find a link to my Ravelry page where you can find images of all the patterns I have available for you to buy and knit up for yourself. Also in the description below, you'll find a link to the Watch Barbara Knit Facebook group. We'd love to have you come over and join us and we can continue the conversation that we start here in my video. Today, we have a fave five. Now, what fave five is, is I pick out a theme, whatever tickles my fancy at that particular moment, and then I browse through Ravelry and pick out the five patterns that fit that theme that just they strike me. They're my favorite at that time. It's kind of like I was talking to my son and he said, I mentioned one of his cousins. He's like, oh, that's my favorite cousin. I'm like, ooh, shall I tell your other cousins? He's like, no. And so I'm not saying that these are the best that are out there. I'm just saying when I was looking through Ravelry, these are the ones that caught my eye. And I explained to you why. Today's theme is something that I absolutely adore knitting, which is fingerless mitts. Uh, I find fingerless mitts to be an incredibly versatile accessory to wear and of all of my knitwear the fingerless mitts that I have made are the ones that get the most wear but also I think they are fantastic gifts for people uh, when I do knitter uh, gifts for other knitters fingerless mitts are always on my list and also when i'm doing like teacher gifts and things like that uh, i always almost end up making fingerless mitts because they i enjoy knitting them they're total fun making a thumb gusset is like magic and so here we go my fave five fingerless mitts for right now First off, and I'll be looking, you'll see me look to my screen because I have these Ravelry pages up so that I can tell you things about them. Our first one is the Araluin, Araluin Fingerless Mitts by Joanne Klim. She designs under the KBJ Designs uh, name. And these are just classic fingerless mitts. These are comfy. They look great. She knit them up in Malabrigo yarn Rios, which is a worsted weight. So this is a very utilitarian weight and you can knit it out of just about anything. And if you look at it, it starts out with a little bit of ribbing and almost all fingerless mitts do to help them keep it on and keep them like close to your arm so you don't want air going up in there if they're designed really like that. And she starts with a twisted rib and then it moves into this very simple textured rib that she calls a curved rib, but it's got a really interesting pattern to it. It looks like it's going to be really straightforward to knit. So these are one of the kind that can just, you know, whip out in no time. It's got a very nice thumb gusset. It looks like the thumb gusset is worked. The thumb gusset. So a thumb gusset is the piece that starts here at the base of your thumb and you add stitches so that it flares out around. And then once you have as many stitches as you need to go around your thumb, you transfer it to waist yarn and then you continue with the body of the hand at the same circumference. So it's a way to add on so you get your little thumb sticking out there. And she has it in stockinette and the ribbing goes around it. And then she has a little bit of ribbing on the thumbs. So I just really like these. I think that these are shown in pink, but I the texture is really nice. And I think if you did these in a more masculine color, they could be truly, truly unisex. It depends on what color. If you did them in blue or if you did them in brown, you could do them in purple. You know, it just depends on what the recipient of your mitts want. But I think that these would be suitable for just about any one because they are just a really good a straightforward piece. I really like the texture of them and being in worsted, they're going to knit up really, really fast. So these are the, I cannot pronounce this at all, Araluen Fingerless Mitts by Joe and Klim. And I can totally see knitting up like two or three pairs of these as um, holiday gifts or something like that. Going in a completely different direction, here we have Pulso by Talith Talitha Kumi. Yeah, I think I got that right. 
And these go in the complete opposite direction from something that is very across the board, will work with anything. I hesitate to say workhorse because the, the previous myths, they're super nice. They're not... Um, disposable in any way, I guess. I, I, I don't know. There's connotations. I think those are Grace Smiths. These are way more of a statement piece. I mean, look at them. They go all the way up to the elbow, which I think is fantastic and a lot of fun. These are knit in sport weight yarn, uh, Dragonfly Fiber Selkie Sport. So it's a thinner weight yarn, which makes sense. So it'll go around. You'll have more yardage so you can get up to your elbows and the really cool thing and the reason why I picked these is they're they're straightforward stockinette but they're shaped you don't just have the shaping on the thumb she shaped at the wrist and shaped up the arm so these are going to fit like a glove <laughs> I may or may not have picked them out just so I could say that but no I don't plan that well um I it's, I think these are unusual. I haven't seen one with the shaping like that and they are going to fit so nicely. And I think they're beautiful and statement pieces. Um, being from the South, I could actually see a context where I would want to wear maybe something that's like a three quarter sleeved. It's not quite cold enough, but I want my arms warm. So these are kind of like, like the leg warmers of the arm world. <laughs> I guess, I guess uh, leg warmers are like the wristers of the leg. I don't know. I'm being ridiculous, but I really like these. I like the shape of them. They look super nice. I could also see like shoving them down and maybe getting that wrinkly effect could be super cool. So these are Pulso by Talitha Kumi. The next pair I have is Dagda. And I actually looked this up because the designer Knitterarium is the designer that it has on there. I will put a link. All of these will have links in the description below to where you can find them on Ravelry. And she said these used gloves used the Dagda and his attributes as an inspiration. I'm like, what's the Dagda? And I looked it up and apparently the Dagda is an Irish water god of some sort, which makes total sense because you've got these wavies. And that is one of the things I really liked about this design. Um, it starts with a pico hem, which I think is beautiful. And then it's got that twisted rib motif that goes up and I've looked at multiple pictures. And so the twisted rib motif wraps around this part of the hand, but then it's also over here with the stockinette in the middle. So I think these are really cool. They end at the fingers again with a pico. So it's got this interesting juxtaposition of solid and wavy with the little picos, which are more delicate. And I think it just makes for a very elegant piece and they're super fun. It also looks like it has picos on the thumbs. Um, I don't know if I would go that far. They look super cool. I might get lazy and just put ribbing on the thumbs, but that's the great thing about knitting. You can customize it to what you want. These are knit in fingering weight yarn, which makes sense. You get those little delicate picots. Let me look at the other pictures and see if there's anything else. I just really liked these mitts. I love the, the wavy action going on and that you've got texture both here and here, but not in the middle. I think that's really interesting. Um, let's see here. Oh, and they're cables. I thought they were twisted stitches. They are cables and they twist up. And actually she makes a very good point. The twisted, the cables are gonna pull in a little bit and that's gonna make the glove fit better. She also has this in extended sizes. So she's got a small, a medium and a large. So that's super nice. I like these a lot. So this is Dagda by Knitterarium. You know what? I'm going to click on Knitterarium and let's see. The username is Celtic Knits. And if I go to her website, Knitting Patterns and Woven Tales by artist Ruth McCohen. So I found a name. There we go. So it's Ruth McCohen. She's got a really nice website. You should go look at it. Um, you can find it through her Ravelry page see what's next that was three number four woohoo look at these these are called the caffeine fingerless mitts by jana dana gervais i tried to put the g in the first word and it didn't work why these i love this stitch pattern 
and they are super cute. It starts with ribbing, and then you get this really neat stitch pattern you can see here. Uh, she says that it's a tubular cast on or cast on of your choice. As I said, customize, customize, customize. And then a one by one rib stitch on the cuff that continues through the thumb gusset in the thumb. So the ribbing stays on the thumb. Um, and the caffeine stitch pattern worked on the front and the back of the hand. The mitt ends with an I-cord bind off. I like the I-cord bind off around the top. It's knit pearls working in, in the round and increases. And she has narrow, medium, wide, and extra wide. So we actually have one to four sizes with this one too. I really think this knitting texture is really interesting. I think it might be something where you knit below possibly or maybe it's a slip stitch honestly i would have to buy the pattern to figure out what's going on here but i want to know because it's made a beautiful stitch pattern and i think it looks really amazing um as she, let's see here it actually is part of the caffeine collection so she's got a hat and a cow that go with this so you could do the whole shebang let's see this is knit in dk weight yarn that is another thing I love about fingerless mitts. Pretty much any weight yarn, you can find a beautiful pattern. You can do it in fingering, sport, DK, worsted. It, it all works. I've even seen bulky fingerless mitts and they look fantastic. So I do really like, I'm looking at this picture. <laughs> I really like the way the iCard bind off looks on both the hand and the thumb it gives a really nice finish to these mitts and the ribbing continued on the thumb is going to make it fit really good on the thumb so yes still two thumbs up on this and then finally i have the felicitous mitts by Karina Ferguson. And I could not resist lace in a fingerless mitt because lace can sometimes tend to catch and you're using your hands a lot. You gotta be really careful when designing with lace on mitts. And I think that Karina did a beautiful job. And again, this is another very dramatic glove mitt thingamajigger. And it has a beautiful lace pattern on it that has a lot of movement and the lace it's, this lace isn't about the holes. This lace is about the movement that the interaction of the holes and the decreases create. So there's not enough hole for it to catch on anything, but enough that it makes this beautiful shape. It looks like she also has a Pico bind off on, apparently I was into Pico bind offs when I was looking at this. And then I don't know if you can tell, but it's got, it's got the beautiful lace and then some interesting ribbing. And then at the top, there's this smocked effect that is just absolutely gorgeous. And that smocking is going to serve to pull it in and almost do the same thing that ribbing would do. So it's going to keep it up there so you can pull it up over the beefy part and then it'll hold onto your elbow. So I really like that detail of this piece. I looked at the projects on this and I found at least one person who decided they didn't want to do the full gauntlet. So they went and they modified it so it goes just from the lace to the smocking and it looks fantastic. And again, that smocking is gonna bring it in around the wrist and it's gonna make it fit very nicely. And these are in fingering weight yarn. The Felicitous Mitts by Karina Ferguson. And those are super cool. I love the idea of these big elbow. I've never knit the full length mitts. I think that it might be now on my list of things to do. Now, whenever I have patterns that I think fit in with the theme, I will show off some of those to y'all also. And I wanted to show y'all, these are the willow bloom mitts from my book mosaic and lace and so this is again what i was talking about lace there is lace in here um if i hold it up oh that's the inside you can see maybe there's definitely there is lace see there's holes but what the holes are there for is to allow me focus to manipulate the direction of the stitches and create these really interesting motifs that otherwise are a little bit challenging. And also these are made out of baby alpaca and I consider the lace to be a little bit of air conditioning because these are gonna be, these are super, super warm, but 
I really like them. Look at the thumb. I like the thumb on this too. I still like these. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. And so these are the Willow Bloom mitts. They're available in my mosaic and lace book. Um, they're super interesting because you've got this pattern. This is the mosaic pattern and then the shapes. And I thought that they looked like the little blossoms on pussy willows, which is why I called it the Willow Bloom mitts. I gotta take them off. They're super duper warm, but they're, I like them lots. So there we go. That was my fave five fingerless mitts for you to knit. I'm totally a rhyming crazy person. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like to knit fingerless mitts or possibly if you've decided you might want to try them out. Again, I, I love knitting the fingerless mitts and I love wearing them. So it's really a win-win situation and you can never have too many pairs. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to know whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.